In this tutorial, we will focus on both the diagram and format menu options in the diagram screen. Let's first go to the diagram menu option. To enable many of the features in this menu option, it is necessary that we add and select several components. We'll add an application server labeled AS-1, a database server labeled DB-1, and a human-machine interface labeled HMI-1 with line connectors between them. To see the options, we will click on the HMI. You can remove one or more selected objects by clicking the Delete key on the keyboard or using the Delete button. You can also click on the Cut button. The Cut button is different than pressing the Delete key in that the object is removed from the diagram, but a copy is saved on the local clipboard for later placement with the Paste command. For example, we can select the HMI and then click on the Cut button. The HMI is now removed from the diagram. Notice that the Paste button is now enabled. This shows that there is something stored on the local clipboard. To place a copy of the HMI on the diagram, simply click on the Paste button. The HMI is created. By selecting multiple components and the line in a selection frame, we can cut and paste both the components and the connecting line. This is especially important when doing a copy and paste, which we will do next. To copy one or more objects, you will need to first select them individually or as a group. You can select objects by using a frame or by selecting them one at a time with the mouse and the control or shift key depressed. This is consistent with how most Windows programs work. To create the copies, click the Paste button. You can also use common Windows shortcuts like Ctrl-X, Ctrl-C, and Ctrl-V keyboard combinations. When objects are pasted, the tag is incremented to make it unique from the original. You will need to go in and update the component tags after making the copies. Please note that you cannot copy and paste objects between CSET and other Windows applications. The Delete button behaves like the Delete key on the keyboard. You must first select one or more objects and click on the Delete button. This removes the objects, but it does not save them to the local clipboard. The Undo and Redo buttons allow you to undo a recent action or redo it if it has been undone. These buttons will work for most actions. The Zoom functionality allows you to first set the zoom factor and then click the plus or minus buttons to zoom in or zoom out. To change the zoom factor, click on the zoom factor button and select a new number. For this example, we will set the factor to 1.2 and then zoom in. After setting the factor, you can zoom in and out by clicking the magnifying glass with the plus or minus symbols. You can see the results as you click the buttons. You can always return to the original position by clicking on the Reset button. The final options on the diagram menu include the Show Hide buttons. The Snap to Items and Snap to Grid buttons are helpful when aligning components and adding connector lines. We will now shift our attention to the Format menu options. Before we demonstrate these commands, we will add a text box to our diagram. We will add a standalone text field with the words Acme Control System Diagram. We'll return to the Format menu and look at the Label Styles options. On the left side, you will see options to change the font style and size as well as bolding, italics, and underline. You can also change the font color. We will change the appearance of both the text block and the labels associated with components.
The align buttons can be used to change the position of text or component labels in relation to their icons. The alignment change can be applied to a single text field or label or to multiple ones, depending upon what you select. The object ordering buttons allow you to alter which objects appear in front of others. The primary buttons are bring to front and send to back. You can also use the commands to send back or bring forward, but these can be difficult unless you know the order that objects were placed on the screen. The next block of commands allows you to move an object a short distance up, down, left, or right. These are the nudging options, and they allow you to fine-tune object positioning. The alignment buttons allow you to align one or more objects to the specified position of an anchor object. These can be useful for cleaning up the positioning of components on a diagram. The sizing buttons allow you to make all selected objects the same size as the target object. This can aid in uniformity, or it can be used to globally increase or decrease the size of the components on the diagram. This concludes the Diagram and Format Menu Options tutorial. See the other tutorials for more information about diagram commands.